Okay, everyone, this is uh, going to be the video that I swore I would never do, an unboxing video because they're so cliche. Um, but unfortunately, there's not a whole lot about the EME engines on YouTube. So I wanted to take the chance to kind of be the one to do that because uh, I've heard great things about them on the forums. A lot of guys are really happy with them, it seems. Um, and I did peek in the box and take a look just to make sure everything was in there before uh, doing this video. So everything looks great. The castings are amazing. Uh, the bits that I can see that are machined are just wonderful looking. So, um, so far, so good. Um, so this will be the first of a couple of videos on just the engine because we're going to do some, some break-in stuff on it and get you some prop numbers. And um, if I can rig something up when I get the, get it mounted on a plane, we'll do some thrust numbers in there as well too to try to get a little more, you know, comprehensive view of this engine with the props that I'm running you know and temperatures and barometer and all that jazz so that the the, the engine weenies out there can can have some more data to pull from and that so um, we'll take a go ahead and get into the box here and take a look it comes with obviously the manual um, which is which is nice and well written and uh, some foam packing and of course my receipt and all that. Now inside here obviously we got the, the goody bits. Um, it has the stock dump muffler which um, the canister mufflers from what I understand are going to be much better performance. We might upgrade to that later but for the initial testing at least um, we'll, we'll make use of this muffler. Um, one of the cool things about Mile High RC where this came from is, is they do supply uh, an NGK plug a CM6 which is kind of like the preferred plug for our gas engines um, it has the stock one in it too and I'm sure maybe I'll try that as part of the break-in maybe since you, know, you want to put a gallon or so through it to try to get it broken first so why trash the good plug when you have the not so good one that they're replacing it with so, so that's cool you got two plugs get going um, we also have our standoffs here, which are, you know, they're standoffs. What more does it say about those? Um, oops. And then bag of bolts and hardware for, for mounting the engine itself to the standoffs and to the plane. Um, so that's cool. And then, of course, our ignition, which includes, uh, you know, the plastic wrap to protect the wires and whatnot. And it looks like we've got a sticker there for the, the RC Excel ignition. So. It's, it's a it's a good known ignition too, so those are very reliable. And then um, also an exhaust gasket, which I'll probably just use RVT uh, red silicone to high top silicone to, to instead of this because I guess this can still leak. So we'll see. And then of course the engine itself. Sure, taking it out of the bag. So the cool features about this engine are it does have the angled plug. So when this engine ends up being taken off of my test plane here and going into a cowled engine uh, or cowled airplane, it'll have a, a little more clearance because of the angled plug. Um, and it also does include on here a authentic Walbro carburetor. Um, and if you're going to have gas engines, I guess Walbro is the way to go. And uh, those two are very reliable. But the whole engine, the castings, it's just great. I mean, there's no flaws. There's, there's just nothing, not, not a blemish on the thing that I can see. Um, so it's a very well-built engine, at least uh, on the appearance uh, side of things. So I can't, you know, see for any reason why this won't just fire right up and, and, uh, and be a good, strong running engine for myself. Um, I guess I don't know what else to say about it. It has a uh, the four bolt prop pattern on there, which is the same as the DLE 30 and 35 and some of the smaller DAs, I believe, but I don't know that for sure. You'd have to check that stuff out. Um, but I have the prop drill guide for it. And then um, Valley View RC actually pre-drills props for you. Now the bolts on here are slightly bigger than what would be on the, e, on, on the DLE. So I'll have to chase those holes out just a little bit, um, which will be easy because the drill guide comes with the drill bits for the right size for this 
particular engine, so it won't be uh, a big deal. Um, but all in all, th this engine just looks fantastic. I mean, it's really just, I know people sometimes hate on the, the Chinese um, produced engines and, and they've had their ups and downs reputations, but EME has been on the scene here in the US uh, for a good while now and they seem to be building a good reputation and um, this engine is it. So, and, and this one also I'm told, or I read, has some kind of ceramic coating inside the, the cylinder as well too, which um, is supposed to aid in, you know, just holding up for wear and tear over time. So um, I'll be curious to see how this engine pulls. Um, they're supposed to be strong runners, so we'll, we'll see what happens. And uh, we'll get it on the stand here, hopefully this weekend, and get another video out of it firing up for the first time. Um, so that's it. Thanks a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed.